the image needs to be relevant to the ad that you're marketing and to the offer that you're marketing. And so a lot of people make the mistake of using like a clickbaity type images. So they'll put like a cheesy red border around it or they'll have that um, like big stop sign or that was something kind of goofy. And the problem is, is that it used to work a little bit, but it was kind of destroying your brand, kind of destroying your, uh, your reputation and, and makes you look kind of cheap anyways. And the second thing is, it's not really relevant, right? So what you want to do is when I'm trying to choose the perfect image for an ad, I try and think, all right, if I couldn't write a single word of copy, what image would I want to use to convey with this image? So I start to think about the story behind the copy, behind the offer, behind the landing page, and essentially the entire funnel sequence. And then you go right to that very beginning and say, okay, cool. No words allowed. What is the image that tells the story and make sure that it's relevant? Cause I've got a saying that's irrelevant ads may get clicks, but they don't get conversions. And what that means is that you can use a really hypey fun picture, whatever it is. And someone might click it, but they're never going to opt in. They're never going to do kind of carry on down the funnel because you tricked them. So you just wasted money on a click and you kind of burned your brand at the same time. So definitely the first thing is always be congruent with the image and with the offer and, and essentially every step of the funnel. Yeah, a lot of people maybe don't think about that. They just uh, think about the short-term win. Okay, how can I get people to maybe click on this to, to stop? And, and really, it's going to hurt your conversions at the end of the day. Totally. All right. So when we're looking at this, is there anything we need to be you know, <laughs> relevancy? Like I've heard people talk about, you know, someone's face, um, you know, helps draw people in. What kind of things... Um, what kind of images are relevant for our business? What, how, where should we be looking? Cool. So uh, that's a good question. What kind of images are relevant for your business? I mean, that's a question that I can't really answer unless we know the business, right? So we've got to think that, all right, well, what is the business? What is the desired outcome of it? What's an image that would tell that story? And then you can start to kind of piece together uh, all right, what do I think it's going to be? And if you're a creative person, you might have images in your mind of what to do. And if you're not a creative person, that's cool. There's stock photo databases. You can just start scanning through until you find one that kind of clicks a little bit. So the key is, is that don't limit yourself to thinking, all right, well, if I, uh, I write webinars for people or something like that, like you don't need a picture of a person at a desk writing a webinar. You may be able to find some other way to explain that visually through a story and through an image that tells that story. 